Welcome. You are watching a cult video right now. I have five men hostage and they must play D&D. So if we're hostage, does that mean this doesn't actually technically end? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Until the viewers save you know. I think, I think right, you cool. are so now my are hostage. Okay. Every, don't save us. We don't want to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> every, every We're going to play until this is over. Yeah. Every message That's in the it. in the Twitch chat extends us by another hour. So <laughs> just actually okay. send us food. <laughs> yes. Cookies the ransom if you want to ever see these people again. Cookies and milk. That's <laughs> yes, the requirement for the dark side. Cookies. Lots of cookies. Not the Nutella biscuits. <laughs> Not sponsored. No, those biscuits. aren't cookies. Then. Exactly. They're biscuits. It's in the I name. I have an argument with someone no, about that. Cookies aren't biscuits. Hello Nutella and welcome biscuits. to Play Up. Um, this is Group 2, Episode 4, guys. We're getting there. Yeah, 444. Four, four. Uh, before we start the session, um, thanks to our sponsors, the um, Miniature Corner Studio, for a beautiful dice holder, 3D printing, nice. um, get over to their Facebook page, you have a lot of things for cheap, man, this, this is just, if I had to buy this, which is sponsored, so right, sexy. this is just 10 euros, I mean, oh, for the whole finish, That's not bad. just 10 euro, okay. uh, there's an actual photo on our Facebook page and Instagram, if you want to see that up close, um, and also thanks to the um, Temples and Dragons, that's right, who gave us this lovely space where we can actually Come here and enjoy a good session of Dungeons and Dragons. Now, for those of you watching first timers, this is a homebrew session, so get ready for some heavy role play, a couple of shenanigans, and don't be too heavy on the rules, right? Um, some things are not in the rule book, <laughs> especially what I run as a, DM. a few thousand. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? By a couple of shenanigans, he means a few thousand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought we were only shenanigans at this point. <laughs> You're in a homebrew world called. The New World. Yes, we were lazy That's with true. the name. We just went with New New World. <laughs> you are currently in the town slash city of uh, Sylvanas, correct? Where Rowan, which is played by Ashton there, um, is quite a wanted man due to an incident he had with one of the mafia bosses there. Um, actually, his, the daughter, I, was it? I regret nothing. I <laughs> regret nothing. <laughs> Um, before we go into a quick recap, let's just go over our players and introduce yourselves. I am Ennis, a disgraced war fighter and former military captain, uh, formerly known as Terry Fowler. Once corrupted, now finally free of its influence, partially, temporarily, I now work to protect my family and regain what was once lost. I am Odd. The tiefling who's trying to recover 10 missing years from his life, once an uncharismatic bard, now gone rogue, trying to save the world from danger. <laughs> my name is Auka Etil, the moon child. I have left my people in the mountain in order to find the items that I need to protect them and to free them from uh, the slavery of the titan. And almost died because of th the possession of that guy. <laughs> My name's Ashton, and I play Rowan Henrik the Fourth. And um, what I should be doing is being smart, keeping a low profile, trying not to get into any further trouble while we're in Sylvanas. What I will actually be doing is going shopping, going fighting, and causing as much chaos as I possibly can let Don handle. Of course. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm John. I'm playing Cracked, the uh, Warforged, who is. Um, Let's just say traumatized by a few things, <laughs> like many things at the moment. <laughs> I think Squidward in SpongeBob in the future episode, just sitting in a corner. Basically, yes. And considering he's just been traumatized yet again by one of his by his commanding officer dying and coming back with an imp <laughs> that apparently is deciding to call a cracked master, he is confused. I put it mildly. <laughs> uh, usually we have two other players with us unfortunately they could not be here with us today we should give a big shout out to the player who plays Marin and also the player who plays Torfin they couldn't be with us today for personal reasons I'm going to disclose that um, however in the recap 
Yeah, we do miss you. Yeah. We really do. It's not the same without any of you. I mean, last time we didn't have odd, and was kind of weird, you know. It's kind but of odd. It was kind of odd. <laughs> did, you, did you manage to find your parents? <laughs> <laughs> well, we we'll get to that. Um, so what happens is a quick recap is what happened in our last session. If you haven't watched, is that they ended up in Sylvanas to meet with one of the cult members who basically made a quick deal with Moonchild. It was like, get the party to be convinced to dismantle the Watchers and you get the book. Or don't do that and you don't get the book, you know? But that just causes more trouble. They did meet up and the deal was not struck, right? Which, um, unfortunately, they were in a very heavy corrupted area, which triggered our friend Ennis here to just go apeshit crazy bad you know blood <laughs> one positive thing happened there uh, Marion forced the guy to tell us where the book is at the moment right now you see this is why we need Marion and you're not here <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah he, she did manage to get a spell going to get him to be more open about information and yes we know that the book that you're trying to look for is actually in Aegis which is way north Yes. From where you are. Um, Odd went missing in the middle of the night. It didn't trigger your alarm for some reason. We don't know what happened there. Um, so now they resurrected him thanks to Moonchild by taking a piece out of you and resurrecting him basically as a cost. Um, but something weird happened. There was this kind of fiend entity around him in the shadows lurking around. And all of a sudden, when he came back, so did this blessed thing, which is an imp, as you said, calling you master. Yeet! <laughs> um, and we're going to continue the session off where basically Torfin goes out to see seek out this other watcher. Mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason, Marion convinces you guys that she's going to follow him right to see what this is going to be about right what's this conversation is going to take hold um simply because there's a sense of mistrust perhaps but we'll find out when she comes back what her reasons really were and what was said in the meantime you are still at sam's place right known as half boy and um the situation is very much like um you're planning your next steps of what to do until you wait for them to come back with the information. So you're kind of stuck in Sylvanas for a moment. Yay. What are you guys doing? Odd is still not there, by the way. Well, I, I gave um, Half Boy 50 gold pieces That's correct. to yes. allow us to stay at his place and rest there for the night and for the night's coming. Uh, well, Three of the people who is with us is gone. Yeah. One is uh, half dead, half alive, and there is that thing now. <coughs> what is our next move? I need to recover first. I need to rest after that. I think we should all, I think, you definitely do need to have some, some sleep. sleep. You and that, I would say get a room, but Sam's taken the only other one. Um, Take it, please. <coughs> no, 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 no. Heat, uh, well, the imp, you're naming it Heat, I'm guessing, at this point. Heat. <laughs> heat. He, he, heat is kind of just struggling. No, no, no. How many of these do you have? <laughs> uh, at least two more. I, I need to go get some more. You can come with if you want. Amazing. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. um, are you okay, correct? You just need some, some time to rest. Rest would be nice. Right. First, I walk over to the kitchen and I just pour a few glasses of juice or whatever he has in his cupboard. Okay. Uh, just for everyone so that uh, they have something. And I leave a couple of gold pieces in, in, in this place. I think Sam's just discovered Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Half Boy is loving this. It's like sitting there right now. This, this could be a business. Half Boy at the moment is outside smoking his pipe 
because uh, Marin gave him the idea to kind of stay watch and I mean he paid 50 gold so he's just more like he's not fond that Ennis is <laughs> back but you know 50 gold he said is more than what he earns in a week so he, he's more than happy to oblige until you know you have to do what you have to do as long as the gold keeps flowing in just a little bit more just flew his way uh, apparently what, what is this? It's a liquid you all drink. <laughs> well, I, I mean, uh, what, what kind of uh, beverage? Ah. Oh, I, I understand. You, you may have difficulties because you do not consume these kind of things. Is that correct? Yeah, correct, yes. Rowan, you seem like the type that drink anything any sort of liquid <laughs> what is this what image have I given these people <laughs> like god damn I'm taking a street rat <laughs> <laughs> um, you've so, never met so, sewer water no so basically it's um, very outdated orange juice basically <laughs> gone very kind of tastes like the thunder tree juice that means it's expired but it's got a nice sting. <laughs> and that, that's moss. <laughs> I'm just glaring at the drink you put down. <laughs> well, if, if he likes it, most probably is not good. But his app is hard. <laughs> a reasonable argument. So I take the glass and then I put it in front of Rowan. Stop the crates. Just can, can we have, if you ever find some alcohol. I will get us some proper drinks. It I stick my head out the window. Sam, which way to which way to uh, the shop again? Left, right. Are you looking for Black George? Yeah, I'm looking for George. Black George is. You know, down the streets, second alley. All right, cool. to your right. Um, what time of day is it? Um, at this point, it's uh, late midday, so to speak. Right, so it's, so it's I would estimate like between two and four. Okay. All right, cool. So um, I put my shield on my back, yeah. put my cape and my hood up, and I'm so prepared. I'm going shopping. No, you are not going shopping. Do you want alcohol? Do you want to die? I have a hood, <laughs> and I've proven to be very tricky to kill. I, I, I have, you know. You have also proved very, very hard to keep uh, hidden in this town. There is just uh, flamboyant. There is uh, many, many people who would like to pass a knife on your throat. Perhaps we should... Oh my God. Stab maybe you maybe we can take a, a little bit of a breather, and then we all go together with him. To this uh, black, uh, black I mean, George. It's just a quick shop to get some food, to get new uh, rations and stuff while we wait out. It's not going to take longer than ten minutes, twenty minutes. That, and if it does, you can always come after me and see what the hold up. Do you trust him on his own? No. Yes. I'm not I, on I, don't, my own. I do not even trust him when he's with us. So. No. That I got ye. I'm not on my own. We don't know how we really Okay, one. That thing That's was an just... Egg. Yes, it was... And? It was just uh, possessing him. Things that like apples can't be that bad. Now, if he was eating a pineapple, on the other hand, I wouldn't trust him with a 10-foot barge ball. You do notice that the atmosphere gets cold. <laughs> a shadow <laughs> is cast over Sylvanas, almost as if rain is coming. The sun's blocked out with these heavy black clouds. Thunder out of nowhere is sound. And as the lightning strikes down from the sky, all of a sudden, with the same lightning strike, the area just emits this massive blue inside where you are. So Sam's place. Yeah, what did you do? For a second, the imp is frozen and slows down. And in front of you, a bigger blast of blinding blue just hits the table and at the chair calm as ever odd sits there <coughs> <coughs> that was weird 
Once again, the light comes back. Clouds move away. The air is warm again. Oh, that's mahogany, man. <laughs> so? It's a hard to get wood. Wait, wait, first of all, where the fuck did you come from? Uh, it's a long story, but I need a drink. I need a walk. I need to stretch. I was just about to go shopping. You want to come with? Uh, yeah, I need to. Awesome. See, I've got my, I've got my space and time. Okay, I've got my babysitter now. And I shoot <laughs> that, that was He's like cracking his back. <laughs> that was <laughs> quite an entrance. Yep. Next time, maybe use the door. <laughs> <laughs> D- does that look like something I did? <laughs> well, I, I do not know. Like, I mean, People keep doing uh, weird stuff. <laughs> if, if we had the choice of coming in through a door or appearing in a burst of magical blue light, I, I think we all know what we would pick. Well, blue light is quite magical. Yeah, that's that's right. That's true. Right. 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 Oh, because you are not able to do that. Queer. Oh, <laughs> what, what Ouch. Fuck, <laughs> right. At this point. <laughs> I've, I've, I've told them where I'm going. I'm not gonna leave. I'm, I'm sticking. I'm right. gonna grab no. on and leave. Yeah, Odd just doesn't even answer. Uh, he just goes out. He needs some fresh air. He needs to stretch his legs. As you're on your way, door. Out, I stop you one moment. Yeet. Who is your master? Who is your master? You. Then command. Follow them. Watch them. If there is any trouble, come back here. Okay. <laughs> now I have two First, babies. He actually grabs the unfinished apple and throws it over. <laughs> okay, but first you're gonna pick up that apple because we don't litter. You buy more, right? Oh, buy more, but you, you, need to, you either need to finish what you're eating or throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Just crawls down, grabs it, okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Are we really gonna let them go? I feel like we both have a story to tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Tracy, wh- where are we? Uh, so we're in Sylvanas. It's a lovely okay. little town full of cutthroats and murderers. And oh, he's got a bounty on him. You're not there. But they know. Uh, I'm <laughs> still, I'm still <laughs> walk yeah, the so, so you left? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so as you leave the door, as you the go for the door, I say, are we leaving? Are we, are we gonna let them leave on their own? With him almost dead and me almost completely tapped out, are we gonna let them go on their own? I can't follow them because again if something happens I might die again <laughs> well then I guess they're going to die. valid argument also who are we to deny them what oh no no I mean us going with them not <laughs> tell them to stay here I mean us I going all Ode. together I trust Odd to keep things proper that he won't get into trouble if he won't need to. Uh, Master Dwarf, this comes really hard for me to say, because I do respect Dwarf very much. But after what happened today, I do not trust your judgment as much as before. <laughs> you tried to kill me. Fair. And Odd just disappeared and reappeared in a lightning bolt. I, I guess we are... Uh, we may ask some certain explanation about what is going on. Interruption. Logical argument. My commanding officer has almost just died and you brought him back to life. You have just stated that you are tired and almost tapped out. I still have resources left and the other two that just left, one one appeared to be almost fresh and the other one appeared to be fairly um, capable, at least in some regards. We have sent a scout with them to report if anything is troublesome, and if needed, we can be their backup. We remain here where it is safe, they are traveling as needed, and have possible aid. Seems like a reasonable uh, explanation. I do not know why I'm still with you people. <laughs> why I did not just accept the book, by the way. Well, wait, do you think he'd be able to seriously give up a magical book? Or, uh, if that, it's that powerful, do you think they would seriously give it up? Without repercussions for you. Well, they just wanted you to not keep 
all together fighting this uh, withering cult. They were, to, they were with, they're trying to raise a devil, a devil demon, I don't know. They tend to be tricky when they do this. I, I, expect, their fo- I expect their followers to be just as tricky. Well, we know where is the book now. Uh, we know that uh, our friend Torfin is gonna come back with some information. I guess we just have to wait and see what is up next. I am, I am, I am still curious to go visit this uh, black, black George. That is why I wanted to all go together. If you want to go, go. Just I. No, don't embrace it. I will be here and I will uh, continue taking care of you, like our friend Krabi. Thanks. So we cut scene, where basically you're walking down the street. <coughs> so then, I kicked him right in the nuts, jumped <laughs> onto his back, punched him in the back of the head, he fell over, held his head out, and Ennis just fucking smacked him in the face with his foot, out cold, and we won. Magic spectrum. It, it was just. How much did you win? Oh, I think. I uh, can't remember how much Ennis, but I, think I only bet like five gold. I, I wasn't that sure. So, uh, you know, very small returns. Oh. Uh, well, I think so. A bit more. I just. I was a bit. I was kind of worried. Then he had four arms, and that was like. That was surprising. That's pretty cool. Now, the blue light. <laughs> the blue light. Blue. First of all. You just disappearing made us worried. We thought we'd like lost a person. And it, I don't know if you understand what that does to a human psyche when he sometimes loses yeah. a pen. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. losing a person was a bit harsh. I get that. Look, if I had any control over it, I would have done it differently. But it was weird. It was out of control. Let's say that. We'll, we'll get into it when we get back. It's a long, 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 fair long enough, story. Just long story. Take a little bit of a sidestep. <laughs> it's like out of control. First thing, and is oh god, not again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now I'm, I'm just like every so often I'm gonna check his ears to see if there's any like black goop running down him. <laughs> so you turn the right corner, and there it is. All the holds the sign that says Black George's wares. Oh, oh. I suppose it's alright. Call him Black George, then. Um, That's very racist. I don't even, it's... I mean, I could think of a few different names that just fit better for a, a, a short provision. Shop. George's. George's, yeah. Um, George's Shield, the Lion Shield, George's, George's Lion. George's Emporium. <sighs> Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> That's the... <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna over the door, walk in. Hello. So... In front of you, you have a variety of items, right? Some you don't even know what they are. You know, there is like a candlestick holder, um, but instead of actual like a candle inside of it, there is like a bone stuck into it. Um, there, there's a variety of like weapons, shields, some which are like broken and worn down, others are like brand new, you know? There are some items which are clearly like locked off into a cabinet, um, which is kind of misplaced in the shop. It's, it's very unorganized. Um, and right across at a desk with um, with drapes hiding the back, pretty much like I, how I am, yeah. right? Feet on the desk, picking his teeth with a dagger. You see this drow, white hair, red eyes, and he looks over and he's like, can I help you? Um, <laughs> we'd like to see what alcohol we have. We want. We need a really strong whiskey, for sure. Uh, or two, yeah. Wine, yeah. Uh, and then also just general provisions, maybe some new weapons, things that hurt. You've come to the right place. Strong, you say? Yeah. Now, yeah. when we say strong, what are we one doing? sip would put a Goliath on his ass for a week. I got just the thing straight from Brokewood. This came in and he picks up a jar. Mm-hmm. 
and he puts it on the table. And in the middle of it, there is this um, kind of decaying mini head of a halfling in this very greenish yellowy liquid that keeps, you know, bubbles keep like a lava lamp almost. It's like, don't let looks deceive you. This is usually hidden in a barrel, you see. But the taste is exquisite. And you said you want a Goliath knocked off to his ass. This is gonna do it. We don't travel with halflings, right? (laughs) I don't want to drink a halfling. What if I got you to decan some of that into a smaller uh, like barrel or a flask? Because I feel like the head would put people off. Mm. And as long as you drink it today, <laughs> it um, it will keep its potency just for 12 hours. Otherwise, it just loses its entire... Alright, uh, I'll, I'll take one flask of that. Alright, and he kind of goes and then we just shoot, And then just like some, el- uh, some dwarven whiskey and some elvish rum. Alright, dwarven whiskey, I can fix that up. And he brings out a keg. There you go! Alright. Does that have any dwarven no, heads? No, no, no. heads? No. This is This is from classical itself. Okay, Beautiful. Good. Here is your... Right. And uh, what else are we looking for? Uh, Was it provisions and weapons? Yeah. It's just, I'm just going to put it to halfling concoction. <laughs> <laughs> Floating elfie head. So, yeah, I, um... so, what will it be? So, uh, I, I was wondering if you had uh, uh, any interesting items. Interesting. Uh, any How interesting. interesting. Well, you I know, got the I, first blades. Well, I don't, I don't, no, not cursed. Where I think we got. We I got, got the messy kits. At, at yeah. the moment. Um, yeah. But you know, there's ru- there's tales of these swords that you know always add an extra pack of punch, hits a little bit harder. You know. All right, all right. I, 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 I think I can fix you fire. up with something. Got anything? Anything cool? Yeah. And he brings out this very thin blade, almost very much like the fencing style. And he puts it carefully on a table. He lets it go, and you can see it already cuts his fingers where he touched it. It's gonna sting. Oh, that looks sharp. Yes. That, my friend, is the great fencing sword of none other than Norn himself. I want to touch it now. Should I touch it? Um, How much is that? (laughs) That is selling at a beautiful price of 2,000 gold. And is that's okay? a discounted price. Is, is it okay if I, I hold it? Oh, yes. Just go ahead. It's so light. It almost as if you you just have the handle weight almost. It's not well balanced, but it's it's as if you're just holding the handle. You know that. Why do I get the feeling you're giving him the equivalent of a lightsaber? Yeah. How does it turn out? Two two thousand, you say? <coughs> two thousand. That's the discounted price. I've been meaning to try to get rid of that, to be honest, but uh, we haven't had the right so, buyer. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at it. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna see. Uh, I want to. Uh, yeah, am I able to tell if he's like pulling the the, the pulling out his ass that it's the, the sort of. Go ahead. Thing. Give me a <coughs> bluff roll. Is that what you want to do? Sort or of. Want to see if he's talk if he's lying. Ah, okay. Insight, basically. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Insight. Um, Lie detector. Don't. I recognize it. Um, you do, actually. Yeah. I uh, walk over to uh, Rowan and I say, I'm quite sure that's the real deal. Well, I, I, I came into my life 
quite dramatically, so I'm gonna just accept what he says <laughs> at this point. Yeah, he generally just looks. <laughs> I, I got the wares if you got the coin. That's all that matters in my business. Uh, I, um, we could probably scrounge up the coin. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Um, do you? So I, my, I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. So I put I put it down with the wet, all our, all our general shopping stuff and pay and bottom. Right. Um. Now. So the tab's gone up to two thousand eight hundred. Just so you're aware. All right. Cool. Do you have any? Crossbows or daggers? Crossbows, I got, yeah. And daggers too. Not case. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you almost got me. Jesus. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Well, he's searching for that. So daggers are two gold apiece. Nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many do you want? No, I just want something fancy. Nothing fancy? Nothing fancy, no. no. I mean, unless you want the cursed blade. No. no, no, no. I've seen people turn batshit crazy, black eyes, you know, Can tentacle I, shit go through that Can I thing. look at the cursed blade? That's when he says thing. tentacle? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just want to look at it. He actually has it in, like, a glass box. Wise move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much is that? This, my friend, is going for an easy price of 20 gold. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Add it. Add it. Add yep. it to our, add it. Add yep. it to cart. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. All right. That's, yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. Could I try and remember? Try and do a quick sort of history check, or just see if I can remember what weapons the other members used. Sorry. Could I like, try and remember what weapons uh, Moonchild? Give me a history is. check, and if you do get uh, over fifteen, yeah, you do remember what the hell they use. I mean, I've not actually seen them draw. Sorry. You've seen he has a I've, seen, I've seen you smack someone. It's Rowan, he's so centered. Pay attention. You really think he pays attention. Right, well, 18 plus 3. <laughs> 18 you plus do three remember people don't like what you use. <laughs> okay. I uh, use a halberd. Ernest is a halberd. You've seen me using my druidic uh, stuff, and large uh, druidic stuff. And a sheep. Okay. Then I've got my spell book and my component pouch. Uh, and Meryn is, I'm assuming, is also a spell book component pouch. Yep. Thorfinn, though. I think she has I think a, she a maze. I'm not sure if he has a maze. A morning star. A morning star. He has a morning star. Morning star and shield. Yes. But you beat him. Alright. 2820. Keep going. I'm like Habits, today's busy. Morning stars, spell yeah. components, stops. Really? Well, anything special though. You got, you got any? Yeah, any, any of those that might be quite well. Special? I do have a morning star mm -hmm. that will impress, scare off anyone. You decide to sheet it out in front of. Okay. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Also, we're gonna. We're gonna oh, you're gonna get scared. Let's have a look. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm. how, how, how do you describe it instead? <laughs> well, legend has it that this belonged to a great Minotaur warrior back from the old yeah. world. <laughs> when the scepters <laughs> came along. It came with them. That's how old this thing is, right? But the thing about this thing, that apparently, at the head of the Morning Star, you will see your worst nightmare. Ooh, nice. Is it got a big head? It's actually, I mean, for me, it just looks like um, my mother. So, okay. But people see something different every single time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on with you. Let's keep that shit sheathed. Um, I don't need to see what mine is. Uh, we'll take it. How much? <laughs> That's going to be 500 gold. We'll take it. All right. I, she, today's... 
You guys must be loaded. Who are you people? We are oh, gonna get kidnapped in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have. It's actually one of our goals, unfortunately. Yeah, I go by many names. Um, I I'm not allowed to utter them in polite company. Um, so th- th- uh, just could we also get six portions of five days rations? So thirty days rations. Please. Sure, I can definitely do that. And he just goes to the back, opens the curtain. And you just hear shuffling, something falls, crashes. He goes, ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> you just see this two-headed snake kind of rush out. So he's in the back, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna try and swipe something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna pay attention to what it is. Like, Hello. And let's Eleven. Go. Eleven. All right. Holy shit. Alrighty. Do I see this? <laughs> uh, if that brew is called anything except half brew. <laughs> right. I love it. So he picks up something really small, mm-hmm. right? He does actually pick up something really small, and he just <laughs> vanishes in front of you. Rowan. For Christ's sake. Are you still here, man? I don't know. Rowan. I vanished. You actually Rowan. have a ring in your hands. With a onyx um, gem mm-hmm. stuck into it. The, if you actually look too close to it, you actually see your own reflection, but you see it slowly like aging and coming back to you. Aging and coming back to you. Also, you see a big fiery eye, pupil on top of the tower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding it and I've vanished. Which yeah, yeah. Just, just you see your own father looking back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. Um, oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what he sees on the, I, the top um, of the mace. <laughs> uh, I take a. Um, I think I've got a. Let me just check something. In the meantime, Black George comes out with mm-hmm. the rations. Okay, well, okay. okay, so I'm gonna just wait. <laughs> you said 12 uh, months? Uh, One year? Yeah. Yep, 30 days. 30 days? Oh, alright, then he just kind of halves the whole thing and just slips <laughs> it all to the side. Uh, I'm, I'll get a piece of string that I got, thread it through, and then let go so it dangles onto the string. So I'm not physically and the str- touching Okay, it. so you I'm not physically touching come it. back, but the string <laughs> disappears. So it's like you're holding it in there. I'm gonna put it on <laughs> All right, you disappear again. Fuck! <laughs> 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 I take it off again. Okay. The fuck is this? George looks at you. He's like, "Yeah, that 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 went really bad when we tried to actually construct it. It's supposed to be like an invisibility ring, but you kind of activate it. It just went bust. So anything it's kind of makes contact with disappears." I don't know if you realize, but I was trying to hide that. And as you look down, you realize where you stole it from. Where there is like a her? petrified cat. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, th- I'm trying to not to let people know that was a tabaxi curse. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I had it stuffed. Apparently it was on its like last legs. Wait. How many legs? Wait, how, when you say no, last... <laughs> stuffed. When, when you say last legs... How many times did it die? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I think ten. Oh, it's always red. But yeah, I mean, don't touch it, please. Can, can you put the ring back? Uh, unless you're buying it. How much is the ring? The ring? Yeah. I mean, I'll sell it to you for eighty gold if you want it. Right. I'll take it off. I mean, is, is, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I see use for this. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we we reached the tab of three thousand four hundred. Are you sure you can afford all of this? Yeah. Oh, that's without the rations. Hold on one second. Man, you guys have one hell of a shopping list. I can keep this and stay with it. Yeah. <laughs> Side effects. Mm-hmm. All right. So what happens if I put it in a pouch and then have the pouch on my waist? Does do I turn invisible then, or just the pouch invisible? The pouch actually goes. Pfft. So the pouch will turn invisible, but I can like wear the pouch around my as neck. As long as, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So then, yeah, I, 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 I'll put it in a pouch and then have the pouch around my neck cool. underneath my chest right. plate. So 3,500 <laughs> gold. Anything else? Do you want to go up an extra 500 yeah. to make it four? 
Well, I mean... Did you just kick the cat? I, I, I touched it. My foot. <laughs> So, <laughs> and there's a back there. It's just like what? <laughs> right. Any, any? Got long legs. <laughs> you got any armor? Any shields? Unfortunately, like no? I do not have any good armor. I got the cheap stuff. Just nah, that kind nah, of. Nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, well, what I will take is just some um, polish. So what? Polish. Polish. You know, like uh, armor polish. Oh, polish. sure. Polish. I mean, that's just a couple polish of silver. Uh, yeah, Let's so make it one gold to keep things. Yeah, sure. Anything else you want to add? No, I'm fine. Anything else? For the others we should get? Oh, do you have any apples? Yeah, I got apples. How many? I mean, good apples? Yeah. Nothing okay. with worms and stuff? No. Maybe where, five. Ye. Where are you at with worms? Uh, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I don't mind. If they got a worm or two, it's not too bad, but they, they need to still be firm. They can't be like just smush. Okay. Like sure. rotten. Like I that. got five of those. I got one. So. Actually, I have uh, 50 crossbow bolts as well. All right. This is turning into one hell of a shopping list. Right. Anything else so we get this over and done with? Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I think, yeah. All righty. So. You can add all of this into your inventory. Yeah, so, so we'll so. add it. Uh, so, in terms of paying you, um, what's that over there? <laughs> no, <come. laughs> no, I'm joking. I uh, put a. I, uh, so, how much exactly is that? So, it's 3,520 gold. 3,520. I cool. And so, what? <laughs> uh, what I'll do is I'll take the ring out, put the ring on so I go invisible, so I can count all my gold in privacy. Oh, uh, okay. So three thousand five hundred and twenty. You so. see, you see, Black George just toying with his daggers. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, a, mm, he's a bit eclectic. Right, what's with the deal with the imp? What? The imp. To be honest, I don't know where that came from. That's um, usually a war for your sting. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. All right. Really? Cool. Uh, I then just pop out, pop back. Ah, okay. oh, there you are. As I put the, the the ring back into the thing. All right. Cool. I hand and I just plump a pouch. So there you go, 3,520 gold. Grabs it. He puts it on like this um, plate and numbers <laughs> start going t -t 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 on it. <laughs> and it actually marks the weight proper of 3,500 gold and 20. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy. He kind of opens a drawer with his foot. <laughs> Nice doing business with you guys. If you're ever in town again, please visit Black George. Awesome, will do. So, thirty and days. And only right. bring people like yourselves to my <laughs> business. That made my year. You're you know welcome. how hard it is to sell my wares. You're no, it's fine. You're welcome. So yeah, just if anyone asks if you've seen us, you haven't. Don't. Don't. I think I might have pulled the wire for this for this camera. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in that case, Is everything we're, breaking. We are going to the technical <laughs> break. Shall buy you. Go on, break. Go on, break. <laughs>
we are. We're live. Hey everybody, <laughs> we're back. Technical difficulty fixed. Thank you to our friends Ben and Julian <laughs> Sorry about for that. working behind the scenes. Um, the I, I think they're the ones interacting with you guys on chat, to be honest. The person so they're the geniuses that keep all this crap running <laughs> <laughs> that we keep breaking. So yeah, you, you exit uh, Black George's place with uh, 2,520 items worth of gold. Um, hey, uh, and it? Yeah, exactly. Sorry, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm still a bit like, oh, cameras. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your fault. Shame. 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 <laughs> the the dice of faith. Tell me what to do. Fuck it, natural 20. What the hell? A meteor falls out of the sky and you level up. You level up. All right, getting back to action. Do you head back to the place? Um. So we've got this big casket of, um, of whiskey, so I, I think we should probably go back as well. Yeah. Um, I put the, the mace and the, the dagger in my backpack. I'm looking at the, the, the fencing sword like... He's out. He's Ow. Oh, no, don't do that! That's <laughs> beautiful. All right. So, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's 13 points of damage. Holy fuck! Your, your finger actually flops <laughs> off. It's bo and there's just oh, bone. Jeez. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I see that. That looks like it hurts. Do I rem in my weirdly calm? <laughs> do I remember where uh, it's, it's, it's the doctor's area is? Uh, give me a history check. <laughs> Fuck. History uh, or survival check. One or, one or the other. Chad you? might be able to fix that up. The only temple in town is a good idea. Yeah, I'm not going to the temple, but you know, I was dodgy. I, I know underground doctors, <laughs> as long as I keep quiet. The history or... Uh, or survival, whichever. History gives me a plus three. Nice aim. Fourteen! <laughs> Fourteen! You know of someone, but he's on the other side of Sylvanas. <laughs> If you want to try to make a run for it, you might get there by nightfall. Odd tears a piece of shirt and just <laughs> tries to... <laughs> just just like, grab, grab, grab the grab tip of around. my finger, put it back into place, <laughs> yeah, hold it there. Like, keep it there at least for now. <laughs> okay! Yeah. I'll allow it, sure. <laughs> so it's like, okay. <laughs> you can't feel the sensation, pain is just throbbing at this point. You have even phantom finger at some point. I'm, uh, I'm gonna open my flask. <laughs> <laughs> is that the flask with the halfling? Uh, this is just normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 this is whiskey. This is whiskey. <laughs> I have two flasks. Like, okay. Um. Okay. Right. So we're gonna get our. Ooh, we're gonna get our story straight. Um. We were jumped. <laughs> <laughs> we were jumped. Uh, we fought them off. Slight accidental damage. Sure. Um. Um. Yeet? Yes. We were jumped. <laughs> Correct? And he just kind of does this limp. Like, yeah, alright. Yeah, have an apple. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into Pavlovian. This, this bitch yeah. will be answering to me and Kat. Where did this come from? I don't know. Ennis died. As what? we're walking back now. So, I feel okay. like talking. Did I see Ennis in the room? Yes, he did. Yeah, talking distracts the pain. At the, so, so Ennis died. Well, first of all, his eyes went black and goo and everything, so we beat the shit out of Ennis. <laughs> we then took him back to Sam's, thinking it's all great. He then died. Um, it's not my fault, it's not Moonchild's fault, it's everyone's. <laughs> um, yeah, we all... I shot him, I punched him, I smacked him with my sword, like, baseball bat. Yeah, I've been on the receiving end of that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's normal for the this only way to beat a curse is to beat it out of you. At least that's what Torfin thought when he smacked Ennis in the side of the head with his mace. It was, <laughs> it was impressive, just... Dong. Anyway, so we got to Sam's, and we thought it all been done great. Um, till it wasn't, and Ennis died. Like, there was this weird black imp thing running around him, apparently. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then he died. So we'd used a crystal from Cracked to bring him back to life. And Moonchild did the magic, and that's... Badass. Yeet I'm kind of born. smacks you on the top of the head, like, that was my master! Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, So the imp is. No! Don't want it! Alright, fine, have a strawberry. 
don't like it. What, what's, a, what's a strawberry? Try it. It's sweeter good. than an apple. And you just, if you, you, you're looking at him, whoever, you just see his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the back like of his a, eyes wide. Like a three year old on sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and just flies to the top what? and comes landing down and just starts munching into the. Like in seconds, he devours this thing and is there like. Okay, more? Okay. more? <laughs> Holy hey, shit, I'm hey, trying hey. to turn <laughs> <laughs> Table talk. Where is more? He comes to the front of your face, pulls the front of your skin, it's like, where is more? Well, if you hurt me, you won't get more. He softens his touch. Okay, cool. Behave, I will give you one strawberry every night before we go to bed. Wait, to bed? Yes, it's a treat. I'm not telling crack you got jumped. <laughs> then you then get no more strawberries. Them. Mm-hmm. Crack gives me strawberries. You're right. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> anyway, so crack use. So they, we took a bit of crystal from Crack's um, chest, uh, and yeah. we used that to bring Ennis back to life. Ennis then saw weird shit. Uh, we're still trying to figure that out. I think. Yeah. The, I, the, I, tracks, I, yeah. the second magic comes into play. I turn, try to turn off. It normally comes with bad things. Um, but mm. yeah, Ennis was alive, uh, and then suddenly this thing. Was here. Yeah. You Ta-da! was here. Ta da! Uh, Hello. Hi, I'm Odd. Um, nice oh. to oh. meet you. I put out two fingers. He, he grabs it with his fingers. You, can He's you, cute. He is, right? He's fucking him. Ye, can you hold us quickly? No. Please. He actually flies over to Odd and says, I have a new friend now. Wait till I tell Master. Mm. Okay, cool. Odd. I, I don't have any of any apples. He flies over. <laughs> oh, they are for me, thank you. There was a worm in it. Give it. No. <laughs> he flies over to catch the worm. So, so basically what you're saying is you guys are hopeless without me. Okay. No. I mean... I mean, no one ever died with me. I almost died with you. Wait. You're heading back to Sam's walking, place, am I understanding? Yeah, yeah, we're walking back. Yeah. Alright, so you've actually reached and Sam's outside snoring heavily. Let's, you know, with the vibe. Who's Sam. this guy? Oh, his name is Sam. Mm. This is technically his house we've um, oh, okay. borrowed. Sure. He's, he's out. He's snoring. Like a sleep sleep out? Yeah, yeah. Is he supposed right, to cool. keep watch? Yeah. Okay, okay. I like lightly pat his head. Drop two gold. Kill Ennis. So. Well, that's actually pretty better. Oh, also, he we hates should... Ennis, so try not to bring him up around Sam when Sam's awake. Okay. They have history, mm-hmm. and I... Uh, from what I could gather, Ennis is the reason Sam is called Half Boy now and is missing an arm and a leg. Okay. 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 Yeah. Sure. That makes cool. sense. As well. So we open yeah. the door, walk in. All right. I got booze and injury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got jumped it by was, his own it was sword. Guys. Fuck you, Art. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get jumped. <laughs> no, don't believe him. He lies. It's too yeet. Have a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Goes into the corner and you just hear him. <laughs> yeah, um... Before we get on to what happened and before we get on to drinking the night away, that is going to be an issue. Um, and I will take responsibility for it and then forget to actually do anything about it and just create a bigger mess, so... <laughs> As you finish that Make sure we got strawberries. You, you just see the image just go like... <laughs> <laughs> it stops at your face again. It's like, I saw a bed. Does that mean I get more? <laughs> you said, you said when I see bed. No, no, I said when it's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of s- slides down off you, yeah. walks over to to <laughs> crack. He hugs him. It's like, what is that, master? Tell me it's true. Tell me it's true. <laughs> Tell you what is true. Bedtime! You shake your leg. <laughs> Bedtime! So I feel um, like sugar. What time is it? <laughs> she is yeah. bad to get like so close. Half four ish yeah. in the but, evening at this yeah. point. So like, we could probably get him to do anything we want. So only half an hour. Okay. Crack time. A crack could definitely do it without the sugar. Now we can. <laughs> Speaking of, I need that imp out of the room for this conversation, crack. <laughs> and I get them up from my from near my foot. Wait outside. 
<laughs> they just drop him. <laughs> oh, so, oh, I'm sorry, little man. Yeah, go, go hang out with Sam. Oh, while you're up there, I've hidden a strawberry on Sam. See if you can find it. He goes out. Yeet. I haven't hidden a strawberry on Sam. <laughs> As he's running out, I call it Yeet. Do not wake up Sam. If Sam wakes up, you don't get the strawberry off him. You have to be smart. You gotta you do, do it quietly. It. You can do it. Lightly. Come on, I believe in you. Yeah, come on. You can do oh. it! Yeah. yeah. And he just poofs out of thin air. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I'm out of strawberries, by the way. Uh, those were my last two. Yeah. Um, that might be a problem. It's definitely gonna be a problem. That's a, that's a problem. You might be a problem at this point. That's yours, right? Immediate problem. Immediate problem. You got jumped. <laughs> I got. It was. It was. There was like at least. I give up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We went to the shop. We bought some cool shit. I got a really, 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 really sharp sword. Did the flourishy thing. It was like super cool. And then I went to go sheath it, which everyone does with their swords. I missed the sheath. Um, but it didn't miss my finger. Check this shit. <laughs> As you see his finger like flop Literally over. Literally hanging by a thread. You know. Can you the blood on top has it? kind of dried and there's this like anyone in the room close by those fingers. This is really bad over yeah, already possible. starting to emit from it. How you doing? That is not a problem for me. Oh no, it's, a, it's, it's definitely, definitely a problem, problem for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll go manage to bring someone around. I'm dead. Maybe you can help. Uh Algo at the moment is sitting in a corner. He's sitting on the floor in a corner and he's uh, s- staring into this lantern that you've seen him light up every night. The lantern is lighted, is lighted up and he's just sit down like in a fetal position. He's just looking at the lantern. How, how, how long has he been sitting like that? Um, since you left. Oh. Hey, bud. Um... Could you, uh, you can fix things, right? It depends. Say some hypothetically, someone sliced their finger and it was like dangling by a bit of skin. Would you be able to put it back and like save the finger? Probably. If the finger didn't fall off completely. Uh, yes. it's, it's still there. Well, it's not, nothing hit the floor, yeah? Hold your finger together. <laughs> Just like, yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> he takes the stuff <laughs> that he has uh, next to the wall, next to him. He just shake the stuff and he point the stuff at you. And I'm going to cast Healing Word at second level to him. Do you still have spell slots left from... I have one second level <laughs> and good. all my first level. Okay. I used everything else. Wow, all right. So I'm gonna use my second level spell slot and I'm going to cast healing words on him. Uh, you heal nine hit points. Awesome. Does that mend the finger, yeah? The, it, it closes the, <laughs> the wound. Uh, so you still see the sharp line? Yeah, but it's together. You can feel like <laughs> you almost... probably still have like a big scar and stuff, yeah. but uh... you can feel like your, your, all the nerves and the bone got back intact in there. But visually, yeah. you yeah, have. Do, do not do not move it too much. Give it a, a few days. It will get back together uh, completely. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, when I walked in, I got booze. So we got some nice whiskey, uh, and I've also bought everyone food, and I'm gonna give everyone five days worth of rations. All right. All right. Cool. Except for me. I know you don't need them. Out. You're going to have to you make a note that you even got for Marin and for yeah, yeah. Um, Torfin. So keep a note that you need to give that to them <laughs> when they come back. <laughs> you know I can uh, produce food for all of us. We don't need to buy it. What? Why did you say well, yeah, you can do the berry thing, can you? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> I mean, I mean, you tried my berries. I mean, the already. berries are nice. delicious. The berries are nice, but sometimes I do just like a, a military ration. What? I mean, out of game really quickly. What do you think of the impact of the berries? It's fucking insane. <laughs> 
<laughs> it can fill up a belly of 10 men you said last time something like that right would he explode <laughs> we'll find out if he decides to go for it oh, back wait. in the game <laughs> sorry well, before that can I trick the how much rations is that per person like five <laughs> yeah five per person um quick question how much did he win because he said he didn't win a lot but all of a sudden but then spending, also, you, like, you met my father I had, I had some pocket money oh, so you were won, invisible he won a gigantic yeah. amount of money I, I also won a gigantic amount of money but his really? amount of money was really gigantic yeah, I'm and I do my... not use the word gigantic easily fuck's sake I'm one put time my... I get teleported to time space <laughs> you guys win a shitload of money yeah, I'm gonna put my gold. I'm gonna put my my purse. Do you want some? In I the power of so invisible ring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's fine. If I ever need anything, I'll ask you. What? Jesus Christ! You have all the money. I I, I opened my pouch and I have two thousand five hundred uh, uh, gold. That's heavy. Uh, actually, two thousand four two thousand four hundred and fifty now. I get out my small uh, pouch. I like, have oh, seventeen gold. But like, I give you uh, and then I take like a handful. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's <laughs> fine. It's like fine. Like Goliath hands, like something like one thousand gold and just put it on the floor <laughs> next to you. Like, yeah, you can take it. I do not know how this works exactly, but uh, I'm gonna need. We do not pouch. use gold. Oh? Yeah, you need a bigger pouch. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you only fit like it's like it's, it's not even not even a hundred gold. It's, um, things. it's just like. Remember, remember that episode so of Naruto where he's with Jiraiya right and they down. go to the hot spring city and he's just his power, his, his little wallet is just like overflowing. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, oh, also, I got this cool thing and I go and I hold up the invisible uh, bag. That's so no one sees anything. No, You're like, holding the thing. <laughs> It's oh wait, yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I, I have two of them, look. Cool, yeah. But can you also do this? I open the bag and I touch the ring. Yeah, and he just goes invisible completely. I, I then walk to stand behind Enos before I remove my finger. Oh my god. <laughs> this, is, this is the greatest thing ever. He disappeared. Thank you. This is fantastic. Where is this shot? <laughs> can we make him disappear forever? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rowan, that ring was eight gold pieces. The side effects probably aren't that good, so don't do that. I want you to that open. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> he just vanishes in front of you and comes back after he removes his ring. Please. So, drinks. Well, we drinks. discuss our next plan. Uh, uh, yes. Maybe we should sit all together and yeah, discuss, discuss what's going on. on. I'm gonna take my flask out to be like, so, Moonchild, I got a, uh, a strong drink here. Is nice. it fair to say you use it like 10 times by now? The ring? It's like six no, times. Yeah, no, 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 five, five, five six like times. Yeah, five, six times. Maybe four, maybe. Three five, times five. in the shop. Okay, so five. Twice now. Two times now, yeah. Five? Five. All right, let's go with five. <coughs> I've aged 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying you uh, brought some drinks. So I've got a big old yep. barrel of good old dwarven whiskey, which is always good. You shit. recognize immediately that is from your home. The barrel is not any barrel. It's made from a specific wood that grows within the mountain area where you're from. You actually recognize the wood, okay. but you've never seen it as form of a barrel before. But you notice the wood is from the mountains of the Red Horn. Um, you know this is good stuff. Good, good stuff. Oh. I haven't had that in ten years. All right. Well, the way you're salivating, I think it's good. Also, I pull out my flask. This is apparently very, very strong. We didn't quite catch the name of it. I think it was like half brew or something. It was like a yeah, halfling half, um, concoction, concoction half brew or something. Kind of like Either that. way, yeah, it's yeah. meant to be like weird. really strong. Can I make an inside check? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll roll this Just by check. looking at it? No, I mean, just looking at them. Like they, they <laughs> try no. describing it in a bit of a suspicious so, way. Uh, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna have to be a contested draw. So you're gonna try to bluff and he's gonna try to incite. Say that persuasion or performance? Deception. Ooh, deception is actually. Oh, it's charisma. Yeah, deception. 14. 24. Bang. Nice. He sees right to your BS. <laughs> well, I, we technically never got the name. 
<laughs> he knows something's up. <laughs> Either way, it's, it's way apparently you're... meant to be really, really, really strong. Um, yeah, you'll enjoy it. Uh, and he said that it would put you on your ass for a week. Do we want him on his ass for a week? Well, perhaps, I feel like uh, he was overselling it. Perhaps I, I should drink this after we have the our discussion. Either way, I want to see you drink it. I, I want to drink Just it. Just a mouthful, not too I, I want to try it. Uh, I would like to know what is it, what is it uh, made from, but I we guess actually didn't drink, drink it. We, and to be honest, we didn't really ask for the full... Yeah, we know, we know some ingredients. Yeah, I'll I know tell you uh, there, the, the two of you are uh, quite full of bullshit, but that is fine. I, I, I don't think you will uh, poison me, I've just uh, fixed your hand, so uh, I do believe we are in a... Can I, can I smell it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, fair enough. Like you want to open and smell it? Yeah, oh. can I just smell it at least? Yeah, give me a constitution like, save. Oh, for, <laughs> for smelling it. As That's you're doing that, I'm going to stand next to Aoka and tell him. A six? They're, you say they're full of six. bullshit. I rolled a Have you met six? Them? 22. No, I smell it. Yeah. So <laughs> as, <laughs> as you took a whiff, yeah. you just, everything is just blurry at this point as if you've drunk in your mind is still kind of clear mm-hmm. but with this man itself the vision is just completely you're just seeing three of our okay. rotating in and out of him in a in a fun way <laughs> in it's, a like fun a, way. it's more a nauseous feeling a nauseous feeling yes okay. uh you got a 22 yeah uh you can immediately it hits your senses and you you kind of back away immediately before it actually takes hold of you and you just know this thing is strong like just the whiff of it is just like okay I, fun probably just dipping your tongue in this is gonna just knock you cold yeah, let me reseal it <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know what don't worry about it. we've got this you don't want to ruin the night let's just enjoy this dwarven ale the fact that i'm gonna keep track of this and yeah. go right this is all you're be. hearing all this odd odd you you okay mm-hmm. bud mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? 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 Sit down, Odd. Wrong <laughs> I mean, you thought time traveling was like <laughs> <laughs> happening again. So, okay, Otto, well, I, I'm gonna pull not again. Not again. I, I do not have any not magic again. to fix. Not again. No, I, 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 I feel, feel just a good again. night's sleep will fix it. Yeah. So I'm gonna pour. I'll pour everyone. Except cracked. Does anyone have like smelling salts at least to fix it? No. no. <laughs> He's gonna sleep it off. <laughs> Do you want to try and make yourself sick? Yeah. Go right, for it. Cool. Constitution save. We didn't even get to show him the bottle first. Roll out. Four. Four. You Four. shove your fingers so down that automatically, like puke is out of your nose and mouth, just overflowing on your hand onto the floor. As um. Yeah, you kind of immediately like everything kind of fixes itself and just like. Okay, that that is quite disgusting. Oh, I, I hit and it's. Whoa, okay. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm. A... We, we need we need you fit. Yeah, let, just. Throw it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> let's, let's, let's give that to right. someone. Let's give exactly. that to someone we hate. Exactly. Like, Your dad it, or it, something. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I go and find, wash my hands. Someone's gonna have a bad time. I'm gonna keep track of that. Just, I'm just <laughs> don't drink. <laughs> Mage hand, egg, grab a cloth, clean up all the sick. <laughs> all right, cool. So you don't have to throw it out the window. What's up? The spirit, the spirit is sick. It doesn't want to come out. Press the digitation. That one. You don't have that. Press it. Press it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's no, no, all right. I have it. Mage hand, clean it, clean it up, and then the cloth goes out the window onto Sam. <laughs> is he, well, actually, before you get your chance, You hear the imp. What the f- <laughs> Hey! Don't <laughs> wake Sam, remember? Oh, right. <laughs> he throws the cloth back in, though. Uh, uh, yeah, so ale, ale, ale. He said whiskey. Was it sweet no, whiskey? Yes. Yeah, yeah, whiskey. Dwarven whiskey, sorry. Yeah, so, dwarven whiskey. It was, it was, so, um, how long do you think Torfin and Marin are going to be? That is a nice question. We, we don't know. We they don't never, didn't say how far so. they're going. Are you okay, man? By the way, I, I heard um, oh. I heard you passed away. You came back? Uh, uh, no. No. Not okay. Yeah. Not okay. Oh, well, but, but yes, he did pass away. Yeah. Thank you for that, by the way. 
for uh, uh, bringing are, him back. You have to thank uh, our friend. Uh, yeah, you too. I, I see the. It, it's visible, right? I'm still wearing the jacket. Yeah, wearing yeah, everything. Yeah. So. Like, uh, what I, I, is the dagger, by the way, that we? In his pack. It was last belonging uh, to somewhere uh, around Rowan's area. Yeah. Uh, I, I put yeah, it in, in. Oh, you put it on. Which is like an I put it in Odd's pack because it's no one was. On yeah, so Odd's backpack has it. So if you're gonna pick it up, then you have that dagger. Yay. Uh, sorry, <laughs> letter, letter <laughs> opener. I was. The dagger is something different. Yeah. You have the dagger. I have, I have the dagger we just bought, but the letter opener I put it in Odd's backpack. But also, I, I remember being told not to. So, um, I, I was I'll simply the one uh, channeling the the energy, but he was the. The giver of life. Either way, thank you both. I'm happy that you're well, not okay, but I'm happy that you're still here. And if you need to talk about that, I have a bit of experience. Yeah. You heard some voices? We think. Yeah, I definitely heard voices. He was offering something to me. Yeah, that. That's... Didn't take the deal. Yet, so. I was gonna sit on that. Um, Did you just say yet? I I hadn't taken the deal yet when that happened. Oh. oh. But I was considering it. You don't want to take that deal. Uh, Believe me. Um, yeah, I, uh, I kind of have quite a bit to tell you guys. Uh, he takes a sip of the whiskey. He's like, do you remember that blue man that basically just wiped out everything and everyone in that shared dream we had? Yeah, the, the shared dream. Yes, the, the, the light ring, I recognize it. it was like the one that he caused in yeah. our dream. He, uh, he visited me in the hut. He turned me into energy. Just gave me kind of this tour around time and space. It was very weird, it was very uncomfortable. Did did you eat a weird mushroom in Wonder Wall? <laughs> I was... I Probably. thought about that, but I just entered here yeah, in blue fucking light. Yeah, true. It's... We are uh, trying to face something for once seriously. I know it is hard for you to face it in that way, but... Uh, I'll be honest with you. You turn around and tell us that the person in our shared dream who ended the world, basically, visited you and took you on a joyride of time and space. That is information that requires a coping mechanism to digest. And mine is humor. Hence the fact I've been losing my mind the last three days I've been with all of you. Shit has happened that I never thought I would happen. And the other option is to sit in a corner and contemplate existence or crack a joke, even if it's a really bad joke. And move on. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to digest stuff. It's better than having him like crying in the corner like a little pussy. So, yeah, sure. Um, Crack gets up from the <laughs> chair he's in and he potters around trying to find a blanket and then he gets two out, puts one over in his. Thanks. So, uh, traveling to tra- time and space. Yeah. Um, this wasn't actually the first time he visited us. He visited me and Marin in the fireplace way back. It's the same guy. Same guy. Okay. His name is Otto Grimwald. And he's from Etazel, which was our first destination. We uh, <laughs> flew up high into the sky and then traveled at god knows how much miles per hour to the south way past the mountains until the ground was just like black fucking soil man with fire spewing out of the ground that is basically what the cult what the cult's actions are going to lead to here Apparently, Etazel, in its prime, had these dumbass mages, like these dumbass cult members, that thought that Orcus would 
rebirth them into something greater. Not really greater, because when he actually came, when they actually summoned this guy, he started murdering everyone and they woke back up into mindless husks. So, we don't want that. Uh, yeah. As we saw, Orcus was defeated by this blue man and by us, which I should have actually asked him about that, but I had a lot going on in my mind. I was, I was a ball of energy. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Orcus has apparently brought someone from another reality across a multiverse, whatever that is. And he's my great, 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 great grandfather. And his name is Tabalt. And this guy has been orchestrating all of the shit that's been going on. So, you guys have any questions? Because I just dropped a shitload on you. And <laughs> <laughs> I think this story deserves a joke. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rowan, like really. Are you okay there, bud? Ashton? I'm writing. Okay. <laughs> I'm writing. Like, Rowan is writing. He's got a notebook. I've never seen you that down. serious before. Yeah, yeah I'm writing. I, I'm trying to remember shit. <laughs> Rowan's like writing shit down. It's just like. You could drop a pin in here. Even on this, on this. When a mind starts racing, that's exactly the what moment. Is, uh, what is the name of this grand grandfather that you said? Uh, Tibalt. Tibalt. He. He looks a bit like me, especially when I do this and I do the yellow eyes that freak you out a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's that, apparently that's where I get my scariness. His horns are shorter. And, and like draw after on the new sword. <laughs> it's like it's actually quite important to the story, so you might as well put it on the table as well. Get out the dagger as well. Does it a sword? Yeah. You can put it down. Yep. <laughs> like don't let go. <laughs> I take the dagger out. Yeah. yeah. It's still in its glass case. <laughs> Put that down. So, My two new weapons. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the, the that that shouldn't be your weapon. Don't touch that. That's the same thing that turned this guy into a murderer and that turned me into a murderer long ago, right? Um I I know I uh, I know what that dagger is. Right? Is it direct contact with the dagger itself or it's not no. just direct contact. Keep it away from me. Yeah. Back in the bag. bag so is that's oh. that's Captain Hiccup's dagger, isn't it? Dennis? Looks familiar. Yeah. You can give me a history check if you give me. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, a DC of thirteen should do it. Missed. Yeah, not twenty. So. Not twenty. Yeah, yeah it's straight off the bat. You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flashbacks yeah. and backs of you on his ship and him toying with it as you and Clomax were doing the deal. Exactly. Comes back, back like, <laughs> you know, to you, and it's. No, that's definitely Captain Cups dagger. I, I thought it looked familiar. Uh, who is this Captain uh, something something dagger? Stories. He's, 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 he's a character. He's he's yeah. one, one. So much fun. Very sadistic pirate. Someone that you have encountered in your uh, travels? Twice. That's a district. In my case. Oh, bad. Yeah. And and the back in the day. Back in the day. Then. Yes. Time is so confusing now. Um, what yeah. about the other, the letter open, opener? Where, where is that letter opener? Ah, oh, that's... Oh, yeah. that, that, um, that, that so shouldn't be in my pack. I have my pack. Ron's pack. Anus is... No, I have one. Anus. We were running, and then we came to this town. <laughs> Anus pack went there, Odds pack went there, mine's a dagger. Odds pack! <laughs> Not a good pack? Mm, no. Right! <laughs> Out of that, into that pack. Yeah. Over there. I'm gonna need to buy a new pack. <laughs> I have two <laughs> cursed daggers in mine. <laughs> Don't so hold them both yourself. Uh, no, they're in the no. corner. We'll figure what well, out. We'll figure out what to do with them later. <laughs> we, we either need to destroy those, or hide them, because those, 
um, once all of them are collected in one place, Orcus comes back. How oh, many? It's nice to know that now How many? I don't know. Oh, so, so uh, cash. Uh, <laughs> it was a uh, great so purchase so you did today. Very there's well there's done. Uh, a brooch. Bring brooch. back. Orcus, okay. All I know right. is that Orcus had a demon blade mm -hmm. and Tybalt scattered parts of the demon blade all across the world. Okay. The group okay. doesn't seem like a brave, a blade, brave, blade. But what, uh, a whiskey man. Is it the, the <laughs> what about the blade that you said it's important? The, the oh, I'm coming that I'm coming to that. I have oh, a lot more to tell you guys. Than that. Oh there's a lot more. <laughs> so yeah. Are you sure you don't want to go back to the the uh, light, lightning uh, and uh, maybe tell him uh, to fix all these things. Ah, yes, we cannot. It, I mean, he it took all out of him last time, and now I think he's just blue energy running around. I, I don't know, but I did ask if I could use my blood, which apparently my blood can make holes through space and time. That's how this Tybalt person, tiefling guy, came. He has this power, and I have this power. Christ. And that's so why my parents wanted me to join the cult, so that they could sacrifice me just in case they don't find the blades. Okay. Hey. Parenting 101. <laughs> so, I was frightened of seeing the future. That I'm sounds... Sorry? I was frightened of the future. That sounds far worse. Can we keep him away from sharp yeah. objects? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of you, 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 he, he, he couldn't find anything about you. I, I know everything about every, all, all of you guys. And I, I know all of your destinies apparently, but you, he couldn't, he couldn't, he get, whenever he tries to... I, th I thought we had new music. Yeah, me too. Like, yeah. I was like, this is really Digging cool too. from Dude, like, right? the, the producer's <laughs> part. Like, well, Did, done. You, like, you just said you, you know our futures. Except, wait. No, I, I, I know your destinies. Do I get to open that coffee shop? <laughs> 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 well, it depends. You could with the magic you were going to get. Why fucking tease me? Why be I'm not I'm not teasing you, man. I'm not teasing you, man. I'm not teasing you. But I'm opening up but again. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Do oh, I see my family again? Oh, I don't know that type of destiny. Oh. I know the destiny know, that the the Tibalt right. has in plan in store for all of us. It was taunting me, crack. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to pull the blanket yeah. tighter. I'll get to you. Correct. Yeah. Apparently, whenever he tries to peer into your destiny, he, uh, there's a jumble of past and, and into your memories, kind of, and time and whatever. Not yours, Warforged in general. Past and present mix up together and they shun him out. Does that make sense to you? The only thing I would advise <coughs> is that you have been granted an amount of knowledge about the future. Sharing such knowledge can be extremely dangerous. It's it's um... It's, it's Do so with caution. It's advantageous. It's not really future. It's kind of like our destinies. He, I couldn't see future. I saw the past, the present, and why we are here. So it's kind of like... It's weird. And I don't know really a, a lot about this. I'm a fucking tiefling from the woods, man. I just shot through time. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, conf I'm as confused as you I'm a top-up his drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a top-up everyone's drink. Yes. 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 Odd takes it. I take the flask out. Wait, do we want to have this to erase everything we just learned yet? Or <laughs> okay, that's not. That one's saying for later. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So, keep that in mind. I'm I worried. Know nothing more about it than you do. I'm worried that the imp, which is obviously tied to Orcus, we know that, right? Belongs yep. to your kind, not to you, to your kind. I found out with Ashton back in the shop. And Tibalt can, you know, manipulate time, so maybe you were created by him. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just a theory I've come up with. I already did not trust the amp. That's why I wanted it. Anyway, so 
Tibalt had some chosen people. Me. Mary. And you, apparently. Or your lineage. Because, get this, Marin and you are distant cousins, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I learned some weird shit. <laughs> you both are descendants of Otto, actually. And he was the same as you. He, he kept his hand, head in the sand like you. He was just as... Uh, he, he, he shrugged off his magic as long as he could, but... As we both know he's very powerful, so maybe believe in yourself a bit more. Man. I mean, I know your parents did one on you, but you're obviously quite capable <clears throat> with the sword. So imagine having magic as well. I don't. That's the sword's fault, honestly. What, what kind of sword should... I mean, and to be honest, I would love... I'm kind of glad it's really sharp. But magic's not... Yeah. No. It's, yeah. it's not for me. I... No. Yeah. No. Dude, I just came in a bolt of lightning. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm enlightened at the moment. Believe me. And <laughs> if it wasn't for the shock, I would have stabbed you. <laughs> magic puts me on edge. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need to overcome that. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't. And when you, you know, when the time comes when you actually do unlock your powers, you might have to make a choice. Similar to what I did with my family, because your dad is in deep the cult. Apparently. So he's not just a, a regular dick. He's a cult dick. Uh, well, he doesn't know. Any better, I guess. I mean, he's a dick. I'm not saying he's not a dick. No, no, he's a dick. But I think they—they. They, yeah, I guess. I think he tries to be a dick, actually. I think that's his like character. You know? But yeah. Wait, so you, mm. you think he doesn't know he's involved with a cult? I think he thinks he's going to be rebirthed <coughs> to something amazing. I guess. Ron, give me a history check. History. Uh, DC. 12. 17. As you kind of ponder on the moment, really, cult, what's, and you're starting to put the things together where the day you met with your father who summoned you because of the whole decapitated head thing, there was a person of the faith. Yes. Same the... type of cloth that the guy who he had confronting him. It's the same person. You make that connection. struck me as like because he's never really been religious but no now, now you say it yeah. when we were called for that delightful dinner yeah. and that amazing day with father Ugh. there was a hooded cloaked guy I know leaving the room that was wearing the same things that tried to blackmail man it was actually the same person we have asked him about him and he said he's just one of the religions of the, of the city we did ask your father. Maybe he lied to us. Or maybe he thinks that they're just a religion. <laughs> That's not true. One who is so racist and self-absorbed as your father. It would not surprise me if he would sell his own people for his gain. He's a piece of work, yeah. but I couldn't see him. It'd have to be really big for him to do something that fucked up. I have traveled far. I have seen much of greed. Never, so. never underestimate it. What about Mary? My sisters and my brothers, are they? I think they're probably a part of it as well. Depends on their relationship with their I don't know these people, but you all are descendants of Grimwald and this other family, the Hendricks, that were badass magic users. 
Mm-hmm. And apparently it runs in the family that they shun the magic, so... Maybe grow up a bit. <laughs> harsh. I think you need harsh. I don't think it's crying out. <laughs> no? And what do you think it is? I don't know. But all I'll say is something's happened. But I, I something's happened in all of our lives. Mm. Which has done a number on us at some point in time. That has changed the way we view things. Still not quite at that comfortable stage of discussing it. But if you say is true, and I can do magic, which I don't believe. I know what you've said, and it's crazy, but I don't know. Until it happens, I don't think I can believe it. Because Um. it's... I'm going to have to say it. When I was younger, it now makes a bit more sense, but when members of my family reach a certain age, Mm -hmm. they would do something which some people call miracles, other people call extreme displays of magic. Mm -hmm. And my sister and I are close in age, um, and when it got around to being our time there was a loud bang and a bright flash and then there was blood and rubble um i lost any belief that magic could be good and there is a massive skepticism when magic is involved because of that now. It's why I train so diligently with the blade. And funny enough, it's why I learned as much about magic as I could, so I could avoid it and stop it. And um, that day, my sister, even though she doesn't remember it, proved to be the focal point of boom. And she is the strongest magic user in our family, aside from my dad. And I almost lost my faith. I I have a beard more than just a fashion choice. I um, got hit and had a chunk of my cheek uh, torn out. Uh, and it was the quick thinking of my mother who managed to save everyone that day so i i believe you were right and you've not given me anything to doubt when you say that my family's strong with me that's that's been known to me Mm. to to everyone for a very 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 long time but i think you've got the wrong person it's not me it's death it can't be me i I just wanted to serve my time helping people when it needed, grow old, and just die. Did you hear that? No, no. I just wanted to to just live a normal life. Nothing. Hear what? Voices usually lead to really bad (laughs) things. So what did you hear? A whisper. It's probably just the wind or or, or yeet finding something. So, but no. Do um, I believe him? <coughs> you want an insight check? Yes. It's make you fucking talk. Can I, can I make a Why? perception check instead just to see if I what? hear? Can I make an insight check as well? There is. You hear nothing. Okay. Can I make, I make, make, sh- can I make an insight check as well? You, what was your roll? Sorry? Four. Yeah, he's, you you believe it's you know he's he's so into the thing. Yeah. That I've got fifteen. 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 <laughs> you actually, um, and it's you. It's twenty. No, plus 15 five. Plus five. Yeah. Okay. So you, when he did that kind of weird dodge, it's almost as if 
a shadow merged into him from behind him and left him and faded. You see that divinity got kind of funny with it. Um, Anyways. Yeah, so it's... It, it's not me. I just, just want to live a normal life. And I know my younger years led that to um, not looking the case. But I was a teenager. Everyone makes mistakes. So I just try to live with them. Also, I would very much appreciate, should you ever meet Mary, my, my, my little sister, that you um, don't mention the whole explosion, killing thing. She doesn't know. So. Yeah. Dad managed to thing he's done for me yeah okay thank you I know that must have been hard I feel like shit now so thank you for that as well <laughs> takes a sip of his whiskey cheers <laughs> <laughs> I, can uh, we talk for a minute I saw something behind you merging with you I mean shadows and a wall but be honest, Ernest, without trying to, without doing my what? usual deflected, I can't see behind me. <laughs> <laughs> when, you heard something, <laughs> when you heard something, there was something behind you that kind of merged with you. But I don't, I don't like the sound of that. I don't. I, the longer I spend with you guys, it's so. Fun. To be honest, the last few days have been terrifying. They've been chaos, and that's just the three that we're saying. Yeah, we're not excluding the whole traveling in a jail cell. So it, you can't say being with you guys is boring, but it generally feels that shit goes bad around you guys. It's not around us, man. It's this Orcus guy. He, Tibalt, he orchestrated all of this. And it's up to us to stop them. So, I they are gonna... Well, I've come this far. Yeah. If you go on your own, they're just gonna kidnap you and make you do whatever they want you to do, which is probably magic. So, you're saying I have another group of people who want to kidnap me? Yeah. The group that just, you know, the, yeah, kind of yeah, infiltrated you your to, family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, obviously that so, one. Um, I'm gonna... On hearing that, I'm going to take a little, small little notebook out. I'm just going to flip through a few pages. What did you say the name of the cult was again? Withering Cult. Right, cool. Withering Cult. <laughs> he, he, he got the number of people that is trying to kidnap At this point? <laughs> this time. I mean, yeah, at this just point, one extra one the number of that, uh, organizations for looking me. for me is at that seven. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. okay. Organizations? Yeah, some of them are legal, some of them are not. Okay. Correct. For what is right, Anton, I apologize for being so harsh. But um, it's what whiskey's for, right? Yeah. But uh, Top up. yeah. Top up. Uh, yes, please. Cheers. Cheers. Empty mug. <laughs> <laughs> magic and bullshit. Magic and bullshit. The magic and bullshit. The bullshit but and bullshit. Confusion and bullshit. <laughs> You seem to be under the misconception that magic is anything special. Magic is but a tool, like your sword. It is not inherently any one way or another. It only depends on how the wielder decides to use it. And there are many forms of magic. I have seen enchanters. I have seen killers. I have seen accidents. I have seen saviors. That was impressive. But then I have also seen the magic 
you wielded when we first met. You commanded people to save lives. Is that not magic also? Uh, I would put that down to as being loud. <laughs> it's, and I don't know. I wouldn't describe that as magic. Um, it is magic to me. remember the first time we had met. Yeah. I did not kill those children. (coughs) You were not here. I used to go on about this one. Yes, he did. Come on, we we got past it. What do you mean you picked the torches? We we threw the rock on the fucking Um, orphanage. That is not what happened. They have seen the dragons. You have seen the... Oh, we missed something else. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm game. Tell me. What? I'm sorry, I thought you were just being I, bad uh, randomly. Yeah. I'm gonna go cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take some of the rest and then cook dinner. No, I was, I was just, just uh, and think as on, you, on what yeah, practice as said. Really quickly, just so we get him out of the shot, is um, you go over and you start opening stuff and uh, as you start making... Are you making for everyone? Yeah, I've, I've taken some of the ration and I'm just All right, cool, cool. As you open one of the right covers, you actually find uh, the end going... I found the strawberries. What? What? How'd you get back in the house? He told me where to find him. You woke up Sam? Yes. When you told not to wake him up? Alright, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll, we'll forgive you for waking up Sam. If you help he actually grabs him. the cover and says, like, Nope. <laughs> and close. <laughs> yes, he himself. Huh. We cut the scene Glock to me. you two having Ooh, a very another deep discussion. Yeah. I was just uh, curious if you you said you have seen his well his destiny and uh, Mary destiny. Mm-hmm. I've seen yours too. I was curious to know if I do you get to save my people. It's not, it's not that I know what you get to do. I know what you're supposed to do. Bit more than you do, I guess. Um, apparently, Otto, he took me to see that dragonborn we saw in the dream. Mm. Remember? Yes, Her the one was, that was with him. Yeah, her name was Viara. You getting that? Viara. <laughs> I just saw <laughs> okay. Ashton just. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, she was in this cave and she was on her knees with a dragon in the cave as well, right? She had the dragon's horn in her hand and two books in front of her. And she was meditating for quite some time. And then after a bit, this dryadic druid and this knight in white armor with a copper crown appeared and she gave one of the books to the druid whose name was Luna, wearing a moon necklace. I don't know if that means anything to you. And one of the books to the king with the copper crown, his name was Norn. That sword also appearing in the same fucking city that we are in. Destiny. And all that shit. What, what, how is that sword connected to that? I saw that sword on, on the on it's the, the king's king sword. With the, yeah. the crown. Yeah. Norn. King Norn is famous, right? Oh, of course. Yes. Everyone. He should know who he is, right? Does he know who he is? Everyone should kind of yeah. know, especially uh, you know for sure. I mean, I know Luna. <clears throat> you know Luna. <laughs> I know who Luna is. So Norn is the person who established ages, mm-hmm. right? It's kind of common knowledge. Yeah. Hence why there is the Norn's alliance, you know, on the spears of Norn. I would have known him in relation to the war that birthed me, 
right? Yeah, so basically, uh -huh. there, there was a hand from the Norns Alliance to actually help construct you. Okay. Or your kind. So, okay. Just uh, I'm gonna tell you what so you're saying. The rival military force that I was picking a fight with, I have the guy who created them sword. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that. <laughs> <laughs> King Norn was given the Book of Knowledge, and Luna was given the Book of Life. Only once both sides are reunited once again will these books be found. And he showed me you when, when he said that. Okay. You have anything to do with Norn? Not to my knowledge. Maybe you're like a bastard son kind of thing. Hmm? I don't know. I'm not really aware. Dwarves aren't fans of Norns. Of Norns. Why? Why would we be? He was one of the kings that essentially fought against the dwarves. You were speaking about Moonchild? Not you. You guys are somehow connected to these books. And you, once you guys are united, the books will be found. One was found. Kind of. Well, at least we know where it is. Yeah. Yeah. So the other one must have something to do with you. This, this uh, book of life, how you call it, mm -hmm. it, has, it is not part of the prophecy that I know, not a prophecy that our people knows. Uh, do you know anything about it? Mm. Not really, not that I think. Can I do history check? You can do a history check, yeah. I think there was a, there's a mis misconception. To be honest. Uh huh. Yeah. I yeah. misunderstood it. No. Just a tad. Go away. Uh, that's four. I mean. Four. No. It, well, no. It's yeah. Three plus. Like. No idea. Yeah. No. Correct. Us. Um, no. So basically, when Otto showed you that vision, mm -hmm. the the actual wordings would have been around the verses of once both the east and the west uh -huh. became one Sucks. in any means. Right, then the books will show themselves okay. to the world. Yeah. And he showed you Ennis, and he told you what he done is make this happen mm -hmm. because of the whole class guy falling apart, the yeah. um, arrangements with west to the east, you know, hence why that information was. So, and that's what I said. Okay. okay. Okay, so he's vomited yeah. twice tonight. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, <laughs> I got one thing wrong. With you. No, no, yeah, yeah, fair. No, no, uh, no, no, you did mention about the the dragon horn, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that is uh, important as well. We need it for. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah. I'm trying to get some of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so my biggest failure is what's is the dragon force to getting these books? So technically your failure is not a failure anymore. I guess. Maybe Sam should know about this. Doesn't make them less of a failure. Mm -hmm. And it could be a part of your Motos destiny apparently. Said something when we went no Motos, I forgot it was Motos. Uh, when we went to cult back in Brooklyn. Back in Mm, that that is with Brokewood. Back in the in the watch Tower of the Watchers. Mm. Oh ages. Ages. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they mentioned something about events related to that fight being manipulated. Mm. So it might be still be a failure if they want both books. It mm. might even be a bigger failure. 
Don't be so negative, man. <laughs> just, just look at it as a success. You know what I mean? You've done a lot of good since then. And you're a part of the group that's gonna help save the world. So, I am strong. Can everyone give me a perception check? Ooh. Okay. Uh, Moonchild. Are you paying attention to the moment or like are you also kind of like yeah. paying attention to your surrounding at the same time? Well, I'm, I'm, of course I'm listening to him. Okay. But uh, I, I think I'm a pretty aware kind of your surroundings. Of person, so, no, yeah. to see if, if your focus, your awareness is only on your moment or well, if you're picking up your areas to see if it's passive or you have to roll for it. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Uh, no, I would say I would be focused on what he's saying. All right. So in that case, yeah, give me a roll for your perception check. Yeah. So anyone above 15? 15. Uh, so one, two, three. Advantage. It's a 19. 19. Three. <laughs> <laughs> You're just there to chop chop. You're really making a nice what? What are you cooking? Poutine? Uh, What's cooking? Stew. I've got... No, no, stew takes too long. Um, potatoes, they're mashing. Uh, then just some cuts of meat with some veggies, sort of like stir fry sort of thing. All right, cool. Um, you hear Sam muttering something outside along the lines of, yeah, he's kind of here. And all of a sudden, the door just bursts open without warning mid your discussion and you see Sam walk in and he points over he's right over there as he points over to Rowan and you see the four armed guy with an, with an eye patch walk in I want my gold and we're going to end the session here for tonight thank you everyone for joining <laughs> for watching Hi. once again thanks to Major Corona Studio for being one of our sponsors don't forget guys this is amazing stuff 3D printing just 10 euros for a dice holder so that's pretty cool I have different designs uh, dice towers uh, miniatures and all that stuff really cheap stuff and thanks to Temples and Dragons for letting us use this place once again to enjoy an amazing session mm -hmm. of D&D till next time see ya see ya bye, bye.